Hello, my name is Jim Reese and I collect historic documents as a hobby. One of my favorite people in American history is Robert Morris. Uh, Morris had an infamous life, rags to riches, unbelievable story. I hope Hollywood finds out about it because if they do, they're going to do a movie about Robert Morris. Um, Morris ended up in debtor's prison in 1798. He, uh, he was there because he went out and bought six million acres of real estate late in his life when he shouldn't have done it, but he did it. He couldn't pay off the debts attributed to the land company, uh, poor titles, uh, <clears throat> problems in Europe selling the documents. So they took Morris out of his home, put him in debtor's prison. One of my favorite letters written while he was in prison is this letter that he wrote to his son. Philadelphia at the time was the second largest English speaking city in America, beside, in, in the world, besides London. Uh, but this letter relates to the yellow fever epidemic. He was talking to his son about the yellow fever epidemic that hit the city and it didn't hit the prison where he was, where he was located. But two weeks later, his son William, who worked for him as a secretary, he was dead from the epidemic. So the, the letter itself is phenomenal in that it foretells the death of his son through the yellow fever epidemic of 1798. We had another epidemic in 1793. <clears throat> but Philadelphia was the U.S. capital in 1798. Morris is languishing in prison. The city is in chaos with people trying to flee the city. Uh, the epidemic ended up killing 10% of the population of 50,000 people, so 5,000 people lost their lives during the epidemic. Uh, I, I find the, uh, the story behind Morris and his life in jail very, very compelling. I hope you do also. Please visit me on my website, historicindentures.com. Thank you.